Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm back to share with you a few different projects that I created using the Sugar Baby Paper Collection that was designed by Frank Garcia for Prima. And I just absolutely love this collection and I've used it so much this year. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I created. So the first item, um, I don't know if it was the first thing that I did, but I made this for a challenge over on um, Crafty Dares, which is an Instagram group. So I took a Dollar Tree frame that looked like this. And whenever I see any kind of frames like this, I always pick them up because they're only a dollar. But you can do so many different things with them. There's glass here, but it's a dimensional box. So you can make it into a shaker. You can make it into um, a shadow box. You can do all kinds of different things. And not only... Um, you don't only have to put like scrapbook paper behind, but you can also make it into like put a photo do like a memory or a keepsake or something like that that's just a smaller type shadow box with a photo and maybe some um you know different ephemera and things like that so i always pick those up whenever i see them so um for this challenge we had to use silver and gold we had to use snowflakes and i think like a bottle cap or um a bottle lid or something like that so here's my bottle caps you can see I have two there's one here and I punched one of the photos from the collection and put it into this bottle cap and then the other bottle cap I just put a snowflake on the top and then there's a chain that links them and then I have a bunch of snowflakes and then some pom-poms to be a stack of snowballs and then the background paper is from the um, sugar cookie collection and then oh and we had to use vinyl so this dashing through the snow is a vinyl sticker sorry <laughs> is a vinyl sticker that i had gotten from um the target dollar spot this year so those were fun so i just um put it i think dashing through the was on one line um but they're individual words so i just kind of made them fit into the frame and i think it came out so so pretty and then i turned it into a shaker so you can see i filled it to the mat not to the max, but I filled it a lot with um, some beautiful um, shaker sequins and pom-poms and little snowballs and all that kind of thing, all those kind of things. So that is my first project. And then speaking of shakers, I made these. This was for another challenge. This is the one that you had to use silver and gold and I don't know, a couple of other things. <laughs> And some sequins, I think, or something shiny. Anyway, um, but this was another thing that I had made for the challenge, but I was actually going to make them anyway. What I used was one of these little um, sequin little containers that was empty. Or you can empty out one that you already have and then go and do this project. I put some um, polka dot washi around the sides. I took this gold uh, deco color pen. And I went around the border with that to put on some of the gold. I put tied a bow out of this pink gingham ribbon, which is so beautiful. Um, I took one of the sentiments from the ephemera pack that says Santa Sweet. And then there's a little uh, gold tassel, gold charm tassel, and a little pearl bead on the top. Some eyelash trim and then the yarn to hang it. Um, and then behind is some of the lace one of my favorite laces from hobby lobby i just scalloped it on the back to make it look like um kind of like a snowflake or even you know, a flower if you want to want it to be a flower but then i put this on top of it and now it's an ornament but it's really beautiful but it's also functional because i didn't glue it so that you couldn't take the lid off you can still unscrew the lid and take out the shaker bits that are inside so you can use this as a way to gift shakers or um, a sequin, I'm um, not a shaker, to gift sequins or a sequin mix to a crafty friend. Um, so I didn't put that much sequins inside because I still wanted to see the, the image. Because um, I did want it to be an ornament. But again, you can use it to gift sequins or sequin mix mixes. And then they would still have an ornament once they took those pieces out. Here's a second one that I made along the same lines. But instead of using the lace on the back... I used two snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and then I punched um, 
uh, just from a scrap piece of the paper this cute little reindeer and put it on the back to cover just that circle part in the back um, again I used the gold pin around the edges and then this time I used um, a, on top of the snowflakes I used this really pretty polka dot chiffon um, pleated lace and that goes all the way around. I'll probably make another one with no lace here at all, just the snowflakes and see how that looks. And then I used this page from the collection with the reindeer on it. Sorry for the glare. Um, and then put in really beautiful sequin mix. And again, and then I put a, a snowflake and then one of the Michaels word beads. Again, this comes off, giving you full access to all that sequin mix that's inside that, you know, the um, person could take out and use and like especially with the flower one you don't only have to use this for Christmas you can use this for any time for Valentine's Day for um, for any holiday any birthday maybe you put a picture of them inside or a birthday message or maybe you write a message or something like that it's also a nice way to use for packaging for jewelry or for a ring for a bracelet earrings anything like that so I thought these were really really cute um, so I made a couple of those and then um, one day we were um, Frank's studio is right now it's I believe it's shut down again only for like in-store cropping and, and classes but you can still go into the store and shop you can still order online and pick up in store so the store is open but there aren't any classes right now or any um, uh, cropping because of the lockdown in, in Southern California um, so before that had happened <laughs> we had had kind of like a crafty day with complete with social distancing and masks and all that and I made these four beautiful cards so I'll start with these two this Merry Christmas die right here or this die cut I made from a die that Anna had who is Serenity Creations and then you can see I did four layers so there's the card which actually was a ready-made card that I had in my stash I think they came from Michaels they had this um, embossing of these snowflakes on it so I thought it was really cute and I used that as my card base then I used some pink pearlized cardstock then I used paper from the collection and then I took a um, I think this is from the 3x4 uh, card set and then I took one of those, I layered it on some pink cardstock, and then popped all of that up. Then I put the die cut and I put a bling at the very top. I added some lace, because you know I love lace. <laughs> There's also lace between these two layers right here. I added a bunch of flowers, and then I added some glitter on top of the flowers, and I think it came out so pretty. And the inside, as you saw, is blank, so I can write a nice message and send that. Um, and then this one is, um, again, I use that same Merry Christmas die cut. And then two layers of lace here. Again, with the four layers and that cute, I love, love, love this little reindeer. And then I have some um, snowflake buttons, some lace, and then this little flower cluster right here. This flower was already um, pearlized, but the top one I did put glitter on it, as well as this one here. And these are... Uh, flowers from the Santa the sugar baby collection so cute and then the next two are very somewhat similar the next two both have these this frame that I've had in my stash these came from Michaels a long time ago when they had those dollar fifty bins um, I think I bought a whole bunch of them when they were clearancing things out and they were like fifty cents a package and the packages had I think like three or four different um, style and size frames in it so I had a couple of these so I put those there they were pink I painted them ivory or an antique white I put a felt snowflake here on the side I use this Merry Christmas die and I can't remember if that's mine or if that one is Anna's too and then I put some snowflakes another the other part of this this foam snowflake I put down here and then um, I have another cluster of flowers there and then this time on the flowers I use the um, glitterific in um, hmm uh, it's the clear one yeah it's the clear one with uh, I can't remember the kind of foiling it has but 
yeah that's a clear glitterific and I think it came out so pretty and shimmery and then this is the last one again this one has two layers oh I didn't say this one only had two layers as well and then I took an image probably uh, like from a little scrap piece of the paper and then I put the Santa image inside the frame and I use the same image again from probably a scrap piece of the paper there's two layers again that same um, snowflake which I love because you can see the snowflake embossing on the edges um, then the pink shimmery or pearlized paper a layer of the cardstock the frame I use a partial snowflake Dollar Tree snowflake here the Merry Days I cut that off of like a remnant or a scrap piece of paper that had um, so this page right here that has a bunch of the different wreaths on it it has gold foiling sentiments across so that's where this Merry Days came from it came from that page and then there's some more snowflakes over here and then a different little flower cluster these are a combination of primo flowers that is um, I believe a wild orchid craft flower and then these are some satin ribbon flowers and then there are some prima leaves here so really really beautiful so I love how all of those turned out and then my next two um, items is oh my gosh I love these so so much um, these are let me pull one so one day I think last month I was walking through Dollar Tree <laughs> and I happened to look down so and one of the stores that I go to, they have this rounder, this round thing that's kind of like toward the front of the store. And then they put a lot of new things on that. Um, and at the very, very bottom, they had these. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. So I got three. And then another time that I went back, I picked up two more. So I have a total of five. And I've already used two of them. But these are so awesome. Again when you see things like this think shadow box think shaker think photos think you know different things that you can use this for an alternate and as soon as I saw it I thought I'm gonna cover that with some kind of scrapbook paper and make it a shaker and that's what I did. <laughs> that's exactly what I did using the sugar cookie collection so I used the one with the um, the snowman and then I used a stencil with some um, light paste and this is a Tim Holtz stencil that looks like a sweater you can see the pattern kind of I hope you can see that pattern then I layered on a snowflake and then these are from the ephemera pack these two cute little houses so I popped this one up on pop dots and I put that one flat but on top of the snowflake I did a cluster of prima flowers these are all ones that go with the collection I added two layers of lace one of them is from Hobby Lobby and the other one is from my stash that I've had for a long time and this was a beautiful thrift store find I found a bolt of this and it's almost gone that's how much I love that and I shared a lot of it too and then um, I did his um, mini his sugar cookie mini album class which I haven't shared with you and I will do that in a separate video because that book is absolutely gorgeous and I was so happy because I've never taken one of his mini album classes so this was the first one I did but this is basically inspired by that by the cover of that mini album um, on the cover of the mini album he gave us in our kit a set of two of these frames but one was larger and then the smaller one so we only used the larger one on the mini album so we still had the smaller one so I use that here on top of the circle or the hole that was there I took um, the let me get the frame <clears throat> so the frame looks like this on the back it has little clips here sorry let me try to open it really quickly it has little clips on the back to hold in that circular piece so you just pull those up and then you take this off so then there's a layer of acetate then there's that little just paper with the image on it and then the piece of um, of press board for the circle so this I hope you can see it is larger than the front so if you take this and put it on top it's a perfect acetate piece already cut out for you to make your shaker or your shadow box or whatever you want to do with that so I just took this piece 
and um, I put it on the outside of this frame and then I layered the round flame frame on top of it and then all the little pom-poms that you're seeing those were left over from my mini album kit um, from the class so again we also did this on but we used trim on the one that we did on the album but I used these just to kind of mimic that so that's completely inspired by Frank and the um, mini album that he designed and then um, I took this is from the ephemera pack it just says happy holidays I took some glossy accents and some sequins and kind of just like spread that over I also put it on the snow that's on the houses I used that same gold deco color pen on the top part here and also um, oh no I only did it on this side and then here I took I had these um, blingy circles or it's a double circle so I cut off part of it and then I used that kind of like as a flash and then that little um, this little gem piece these came from elegant embellishments from when D had her store open so I just layered that on top so it's, it's very blingy and very looks like a flash and then I just filled it with a beautiful sequin mix and then the circle in the back I'm not sure if you can see it that good I used an image of the skates so cute I just love it I love this one so much and then um, I actually use the glossy accents to hold the circle in place so you can't take it out and you can't change it you can't use the sequin mix unless you pry that open <laughs> So that was the first one that I did and then I was looking all around just sure that I had another round frame that I could use and I didn't. I didn't have I had some but they were too small to use for this opening. So I thought, okay, what's the next best thing? I'm going to frame that with some lace. So that's what I did. I used some a lace trim that I had. I think I bought that from DK Scrap and Rooster. And then I just I put one lace down which I think came from Michaels and then I put this vine type lace on top of that and it's just absolutely beautiful and it was perfect oh sorry I hit the camera um, and it was just perfect and I was able to um, put it down and lay it down and glue it down in the spaces where I wanted it to be and I still have plenty more of that <laughs> lace so here is the that lace but look how pretty that is so that's what I used around the opening of the frame and then again I, I cut so this is the page with the reindeer with the cute little reindeer so then I just found another page and this is the where's that punch here's the punch I think it's a two and a half oh no um, this is the punch that I used for these so this fits this image if you punch an image with this um, Fisker's punch, it'll fit perfectly inside these um, little sequin containers. But the one here, I just used this backing and I traced it over a photo and cut it out and then put that down. And then I used some flat back heart pearls that I have in my stash and then a bunch of Prima flowers from the collection, some gold thread. And then two of the chipboard pieces, another um, heart there. And then again, I uh, use the gold pin at the top. And I actually use the gold all the way around the frame. And then I put the um, the blingy pieces again for the flash. But they came; they both turned out so so beautiful. Oh my goodness! It's gonna be hard for me to let those go. <laughs> but yeah, I can't keep everything. Um, so then there's one other thing. So the day that I was there, um, Johnny was there and he was sh pre uh, playing with a new product that Frank has in store. I'm sorry, I'm trying to close this um, canister. So Johnny was playing with this glass product that Frank has in store. So I'm going to put a link in the description box to Anna, who is Serenity Creations, to her one of the recent videos that she did share showing that machine or it's um, a soldering iron <clears throat> and also showing the package that it comes with because it comes with a soldering iron and some pieces that go with it and then there's other things that you can buy separately and she's sh sharing with you the things that she bought to to use that machine and to use the pieces but this is a glass faceted tile 
so you can see I hope you can see the faceting on the side I just put it down on one of my favorite images from the um, sugar cookie collection and then I cut it out this paper is not glued to the the glass at all it's just held in place by this copper tape so then you put the copper tape around all the way around and then you use the soldering iron and this liquid um, I can't even think of what it's called I think soft something like that so you put that on and that's silver so this tape was actually a copper color but now you're seeing it's silver and that's because it's covered with the soldering stuff <laughs> and before I put the paper on I used a um, a shimmer pin to shimmer the Santa's hat and also the bow so you can kind of see that's a little bit shimmery but then he also added with the soldering iron the loop at the top and then I just put this piece of lace that I happen to have with me and I tied it into a bow I put a snowflake and then that bling and it's the most beautiful ornament and you can see the back is just the paper so it's just the glass and the paper and then that tape and it's absolutely gorgeous so again I will put a link in the description box to Anna's video where she's sharing you know what the products were that were made used to create this um, so that's it for my oh I'll show you uh, like I said I will do a separate video on this but let me show you the mini album oh, I keep hitting the camera so look at that oh my goodness it's gorgeous this is that faux leather it's pr pink pearlized and then you can see here's the big frame and then the the pom-pom trim so that's what inspired this camera here so it is absolutely and I need to fix that because <laughs> I put my pearls on wrong so then the last one wouldn't fit here so I had to wait till I came home and put a smaller one but I still haven't looked at one up yet but that is the mini album that I made during that class and it's gorgeous I did finish it the only thing that I didn't do is which he recommends you doing at home anyway is putting all those little dots but my dots never look like his does so I just did some splatter um, some splatter painting on it and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that but it's absolutely gorgeous and you can see all the pages and all the pages are done and decorated and again I will do a separate video on this so thank you so much everybody for watching and I hope you're all having a really great day bye